My name is Ernie Lopez. I'm the uh, local science fair director, and I've been that for about 33 years. We've been running this fair since the beginning of the time, probably, since I started teaching. started as a fun event, and that's going to be a real, real fun event. We've got all kinds of projects. This year we've got projects in 18 categories. We begin with the animal science and end all, all the way down to plant science. We've got some medicine, health, micro, computer science, math. We got a variety for everybody in here. Engineering is now broken up into three categories, energy and development, a number of other things have come into play also. The students are the ones that actually take a topic, they now develop that into a problem, they work on hypothesis, theory, they design their own method, and they go into their observations, they go through the actual experimentation in the laboratory. Then they conclude as to what they actually got. Examples such as this particular project right here. This one was done by one of our students here, and she's quite concerned about the erosion. And she used the polymer, polyethylene oxide, as an effort to keep the seeds from migrating down when there's erosion. So you can tell her samples that she has made here has actually been on the tray. It's a simulation model. And on some of them, she put the seeds up on the very, very top and allowed the water to simply let them migrate on down. On the next one, she did some polyox, which is a polymer, and entrapped the seeds so when she watered them, the seeds did not go all the way down. So that was a controlled erosion experiment. You can tell from the data that she has done here, she's collected a lot of information that is quite relevant when you have a fire in the forest. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what we do in Science Fair. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be for the kids to work on, and it's really fun. Well, you'll also notice that the particular projects vary from grade 6 all the way to grade 12. This one happens to be an 8th grade project right here. It's very well done. And we have junior division and senior division. Junior division goes from grade 6, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Ninth grade has options of going junior or senior. Now, those are the things that we look at. In senior division, we look at the heavier quality, the heavier caliber of science. We want them to really understand the true premise. In the junior division, we want to introduce them to the fact that they're actually going to learn how to do science on a daily basis for the rest of their lives. Now, the parts that they're looking at are, we, look, we start out with a problem, hypothesis, they go to a theory. Now, their method and procedure lays it out. What is it going to do? They use equipment and instrumentation that normally we don't use in a laboratory. We also use the community personnel to help us a whole lot on this. We have our observations, as shown there. We now emphasize a whole lot of mathematical and graphical information with the advent of digital technology and technology as this. Now, we can implement that and augment into the science fair. Science fair is not just the actual sciences. It incorporates all the content areas. They got to learn to write. So when they're writing, they actually write their paper. And they do abstract formations. They also have to learn to keep a daily account of all the stuff that they're doing. And in there, we keep daily logs as to what they have. Then they got to learn to conclude, because so oftentimes we do so many things that we don't understand what the conclusion really is. We look at our data. Was your hypothesis supported or rejected based on what you have? So that's really science. It's really holistic approach to teaching in the public schools here in Taos. Okay, this year we've had um, 503. We've had as many as 569. We've had records on and off. This year we'll have about 94 going on to regional, which will be held in Las Vegas on March, the, the first weekend in March. Then they'll be going into State Science Fair. Those who qualify from Las Vegas, who qualify to go to state in April, will be in Socorro. Also, being the uh, establishment that we are, we New Mexico is now hosting the International Science Fair this year for 2007. That attracts people from over 49 countries in all 50 states. That makes it quite enjoyable for our particular state of New Mexico to host that. Okay. As customary for the last 30 years, we've only had students at the International Science Fair. This year, we're hoping to get at least two more to participate at that particular level. It's quite the ultimate. That is called the Olympics of Science. The judging of the exhibits go on on Friday from 2 to 6. And we get judges coming in from Highlands University, Northern New Mexico Community College, from Los Alamos, locally from Taos, Forest Service. It's just simply a melting pot of science people come in to judge the exhibits. If we look at those, they look at creativity. Creativity is one of the categories. How thorough were they when they did this? How complete was it? 
they, they take all the resources and utilize those. Now, when you take it all those factors into play, then the, ju the judges come in and interview the students. It's quite an operation because every student gets at least three judges, oftentimes they get as many as five. Now, like this particular project had mathematicians involved in this because they were looking at the stock market. And if you look at things like this mathematically, they're looking at what really happens in the stock market. Well, they use the parabolic effect. Do they actually go up and down on Mondays? What days were the most practical for exchange of stocks? I myself had fun with this one here because I didn't know a whole lot about this. I get enculturated. Plus the sideline enough of this, every student presents this to their class. So they become authorities in the presentation of what they've done in science fair. But again, judging is just one big multitude of people coming in here and they interview the kids and they look at the exhibit. They also use their art skills, as you can tell, in computer graphics on how they actually present the material to best catch a person's eye. This is really another facet of science fair.